Hi everybody, welcome to week three of the MFA Goes to Work. Uh, what great work in week two. Uh, some great courses uh, were developed and presented last week. And uh, golly, I wish I could sign up and enroll, take, take all of them. Uh, some, some very creative work on the creative courses. Nice, nice job. Also, the journey to Mars was a lot of fun. Uh, thanks for, for putting in the time and sharing your uh, ideas and observations. Um, usually this exercise illustrates the most unique ideas, the greatest creativity um, uh, doesn't come on Monday. Uh, it comes after, after the low-hanging fruit is, is picked. You know, a teacher or a boss uh, that demands more ideas can be motivating and so can seeing the creativity of others in the group. Uh, the give and take of collaboration can help stimulate new ideas. Uh, remember, collaboration is common in a lot of writing, film, television, gaming, and even some uh, genre novels. Um, pushing on and on in a creative process can challenge us to, to move beyond just the practical and into the imaginative or even the bizarre. So that's called good divergent thinking. Uh, that can later be judged and edited down by convergent thinking. I would hope that you would consider pushing the, the, the creative list of ideas when you're doing your own creative writing as well. Um, also, let's talk about MFA thinking. Some good, some, some good thinking there, just a reminder. This is a brainstorming session or exercise that will last the rest of the term. So we're going to describe and define MFA thinking, uh, which can be the unique and marketable traits that come with MFA training. Now you might find the exercise gets a little annoying and redundant, but try to give it your best shot every week. Um, I think in pushing uh, the creative boundaries here, we might, uh, we might make some discoveries. Uh, a collection of your comments on MFA thinking from week two has been posted on the week three reading and discussion page, and I'll do that every week. We'll, I'll round up, you know, what you guys have posted the week before so that everyone can uh, take a look at it and make sure that we don't repeat um, anything. We, we're looking for new ideas. Okay, so what's uh, coming up in week three? We've got another Think Tank creative session. Uh, selling points, target audiences, preferred media. So you're going to make a post on Monday and have comments by Saturday. Um, the market survey results were posted on this page. Um, the market survey results from the survey that you did in week one. Um, on our Readings and discussions. We're going to move into external communications. Uh, we're going to do content marketing articles. You need to post one of those um, by Wednesday and we'll comment briefly and efficiently through Saturday. Be careful to study the meaning of content marketing and what, con and what uh, a content marketing article is before you, before you uh, try to write one. If you have, it's explained in the podcast and in the text and in some links, but if you have any questions or problems with that, feel free to email me and we can talk about it. Uh, in your journals, um, you'll continue to work on your work-based project. Um, and remember, the, uh, the coffee room is always open. I think that's about it, so I will see you all online throughout the week. Thanks for your good work in this uh, course that has a lot of work to it. Bye-bye.